finally having a little extra time to fix my Ranger. Well, I had issues with it. It had no kind of power. I drove it from Florida all the way to Georgia. Um, I picked this up for a deal off a military man. <clears throat> he was moving, and it was a forestry vehicle. And they had just changed um, the motor and put an 80,000 mile motor in. And uh, they did a harness. And um, obviously, it was a 99 to 03 motor. And this is a 0405 body. Body straight, no rust, uh, really clean, clean, clean interior with the rubber floor. Uh, there's no kind of real big damage or nothing to get your panties in a bind. Um, I think my mother put a little dent right here, which you can kind of see in the fender, but that's nothing to worry about. And maybe a dent on the bed over here, but it's a really clean truck. You can really, you can even bring your, your dog with if you want to go hog hunt. Strap him back here in the back. I'm sitting in the back seat. I got spare tires with it. Um, really clean truck. Um, no dents or dings really to plastic piece kind of bent there, but a biggie. Had good tires on it, real straight. The interior is real straight too. Um, had low mileage. The guy wanted like two grand. Um, I ended up giving him 1200 cash. Inside's clean, no rips, no tears. Floor's got a little bit of sand on it, and my mother broke this little piece right here off, uh, making it a storage building here. But the motor's real good. I'll fire it up if it'll start. start. So anyway, I went through the motor, changed, the, took the O2 sensors out, cleaned them, changed the plugs, changed the oil. Of course, I drove it from Georgia and I had an issue. I had no kind of power, period. The guy, when, I, when he sold it to me, said, I changed the pump, I did this, I did that. Well, it had some electrical issues. And uh, over, the week, over the week here, I pulled the whole intake and took the motor halfway apart, pretty much. All the way down to the lower intake, retraced all the vacuum lines and everything. As you can see, it's running real good, and it's running as good as it can be. Um, they put a harness in here, but the harness is missing two plugs, and that's my only issue. The car runs great just the way it is, but if you fix that, it runs like a brand new car, like a brand new car. Um, other than that, the thing runs super, super great. Uh, I'll show you the only issue I got with it, and I need to recharge it. It might have a little Freon leak. A little cool, a little Freon leak. I can fix that. I can do a um, a die test, see where it's coming from, fix the O rings, charge it up with a Freon and Pagras to get it straight. Everything's pretty much good with it, as you can see. The only two things I'm having turn like a kitten, boy. Not missing, not knocking, nothing. The doctor's on it. Well, anyway, there's two issues here. Here's the two issues. This plug is missing, and this plug is missing. Other than that, all the vacuum straight, all the wiring straight. I didn't pull the harness out in places. Well, my issue was with the no power, it didn't want to shift in the gears. I didn't know it. I changed fuses, I took relays. Well, I ended up biting the bullet and saying, you know what the fuck it. I said, I'm pulling the whole thing apart. I pulled it all apart. And typically in these Rangers, <clears throat> there's a vacuum line in the corner back up under here. And the harness runs along the edge of the line. That can be, if you move the harness, if you hit a bump, that plug can be pulled out. It'll give you a hell of a vacuum leak. It'll make the car run rich because there's, there's no vacuum pressure. It'll shoot the uh, gas pressure way out, make it bog out, make it not run right. Um, now I got the thing running like a champion, you know what I mean? Uh, you get in this car, drive to Atlanta, drive to Florida, drive to Miami. Once I get the AC going, I mean, it's really good to go. Go ahead and take it for a ride around the yard real quick show you what I'm talking about. Um, but this is a good truck, 1200 bucks. you know, super, super clean. All you got to do is clean this out again. Had it clean, but you know women, they like the dog shit up. Damn dog wants
to get after everything. Now we got power. We're rolling good. We're riding around in the compound. <laughs> Keep thinking this damn thing's a Mustang, but I know it's not. <laughs> Thing runs like a champion, running real good now, smooth, not missing. Once I fix those plugs, I mean, really, those plugs don't make a huge hell of a lot of difference. The drivability is going to be the same. Um, I think it might be perfect because that's an inlet air temperature sensor, one of them, and one of them is a vacuum valve uh, that measures the pressure, I believe. Um, Let's give it a little gas. There we go. There we go. Uh, well, not too much left to do to this beast. It's ready to rock and roll. Well, thanks, guys. I'm gonna bleed the brakes, and I'm gonna turn them out, turn it over to mom. Give her a good little truck. Go back and forth to town. Something clean, not a rag. Get the AC going, and she, she'll be good to go. $1,200 truck. She'll love it. All right, you guys take it easy. Have an awesome day and a great weekend.